I'm looking for somebody asleep. <laughs> I can't see no one. Shoot, old girl's awake. <laughs> Good day and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is a very simple one. <laughs> it is indeed. Is Camelot Beach still the best? And I do mean the best beach area, not just in Phuket, but in the whole of Thailand. Is it? It's not as busy as last year. It's fairly busy. Russia has invaded once again and are here in abundance, enjoying the Christmas sun and today the sun has actually come out oh, good day ladies see the sun is out <laughs> which means the moon should be very very shortly following oh man so I have walked now why, why, why is Kamala probably the best beachy place to come and have holiday anywhere in the whole of Thailand well the weather's not been that great I will be honest with you but you can come and buy a load of toot <laughs> like that on the beach which you'll probably never ever see or use again that's not the main reason oh man it's about the only place in Thailand that's actually built in the right manner hello buddy you good oh what you you 4.2 million all right maybe maybe next season next season you can come on this beach and dream about owning. I mean, look at that luxury pool villa. Why don't you want to live in a place like that? One day. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Cheers. You can, you've got all your little beach huts selling all your beach paraphernalia from flip flops, from tiles to hats, to snorkeling gear, to shorts, to just about anything and everything. And also, you can get a coconut. <laughs> These are basically the cheap seats area of Camelot where you can get engrossed in your wall of umbrellas and come and do a bit of shopping and chill out. Right, I shall turn around. I just brought you to this end of the beach and as you walk further back that way you'll come to Camelot town. So, oh, and then as you walk, you haven't got to cross a dual carriageway to get to the beach. No, you haven't even got to cross a road. You haven't actually got to cross anything. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. <laughs> All you got to do, you can actually park in here. It's got a car park where you can park. Tuk tuks. You can get your pancakes. You can get your fruit shakes. You can get your joint smoke. You can. You can get just about anything here. Yeah? And you can even sit in the cheap and have a beer. Yeah, I can. And then you just have this short promenade, which acts as a catwalk on most days, before you're actually on the beach. Wow! <laughs> now here, you will have to knit one and pearl one. You will. You will have to walk through the masses of people on this beach. And like I say, it's busy. Paraglider is not set up yet. They will be. You do have paragliding on the beach. You do have jet skis. You do have bananas. You do have an abundance of water sports. You can buy a whistle off this man. Cup on cap. Right on cue, on this beach. You can have surf lessons from these guys. They'll teach you to surf right here on the beach. Look, man, you can come out on the beach and just find your own happy spot and sit on your mobile phone all day. <laughs> just like 
what you would do if you were at home watching the telly. So you don't have to <laughs> get a million miles away from what you do on a daily basis. No, you don't. You can just come to the beach and bring your mobile phone. <laughs> and bring your telly, why not? Right, so now we're now walking in to where I like to spend my days where you can get a massage on the beach. Body cap. Right here. Right there. You can get your hair twatted. <laughs> and if you're feeling peckish, you can pop into the pond. How are you, buddy? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Every day is good. Okay. Every day is good. Better today. Come on. And there. Young man, you all right? I'm well, thank you, Sean. He's well. Now, I'm really glad he popped along because he's sat in my seat, keeping my seat warm. You all right, darling? Yes. Cup warm. Good. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. I'm off for me walk. And next door, you have the Freedom Restaurant where you can get cheap beers. Right here. Was that a good dinner? I'm making a second vlog now. You got, you're on me earlier vlog, you're now on my next vlog. Oh, that's all right. That's it, you're two, two, two into one. Two Free into one, do go. Freedom <laughs> Restaurant. Very it's good. all right in the Freedom. Well, how are you having the ears on so funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm around most of the day and probably tomorrow. <laughs> but make the most, no, no, I may stay there because uh, make the most of the day because I think yes. the weather may change. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks Thanks get plenty of sun. All the best, guys. Cheers. Cheers. You all right there, ladies? Hello. You all right? Are you English? No, Norwegian. Ah, no? oh, Norwegian. Norway. <laughs> okay, Norway. Oh, man, so you, you'd have Viking in you then? Yeah, definitely. Oh, me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm from Norwich. Oh, where yeah. we, we were invaded by the Vikings, right? They did, your, your people done so much raping and pillaging. I know, they were good right? at that. Really good. Yeah. And so now, us Anglo-Saxons, we have, have Viking. It in the blood. Yeah, we have the Viking blood. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Which is good. Yeah, Which so is good. good. It's just really good. So in the end, that raping was not so bad. No, all that raping done good. <laughs> I feel like really lucky. Do you know what I mean? Actually, yeah, it's like a blessing. But maybe, maybe, maybe there should be more. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. not. I think no, we can no. keep that. I'll, I'll keep that down. So. That, that was all right. Uh, now we can just take yes. the same. Know, yes, the world was built then. No need to change it anymore. Yeah. And definitely no need to go back. <laughs> so, yeah, ladies, this is your first time in Kamala. This is not the first. Yes. This is my second time. Yeah, her first time. My first time, yeah. And what do you think? We yeah, love it. We best, love it. you've been around Thailand? Yes. Yeah, definitely. And would you say Kamala is about the best beachy type place? It's a very beautiful beach. But my favourite have to be Rayleigh Beach. You love Rayleigh Beach? Yeah. yeah. I'm I like off, the islands I'm well. off there in two days. Oh really? That's great. Cause, cause the most yeah. beautiful place. It's amazing with the, yeah. Have and you I'm been gonna, there before? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to climb some rocks. I did magic yeah, mushrooms yeah, yeah. last time I was there. That's really yeah, that's good, a good for you. And I smoked three joints. And when I did you a, climb, you climb. Yeah, yeah, and I did a, and I, I did a whitey, so I had to crash out in one of the bars. A whitey, what do you mean? A whitey, well, you, whew, gone out. Blackout, a blackout. <laughs> uh, we oh, call it a whitey. Because you are blonde. Yeah, I think so. No, that's an English thing. We call it doing a whitey. Oh, yeah, where people in America call it a blackout. Yeah. I do have my own analogy of why that is. Okay. I, I reckon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon there were a load of black people yeah. smoking a really strong joint. Yeah. They gave it to the white guy. Passed right, out. he passed out. So he's ah, oh, he's done a whitey. Naturally. I Naturally. Think yeah. I think that's a good story. I, I also reckon there was a load of white guys yeah. smoking a really strong joint, or, or maybe doing sniffing glue. Yeah. Gave it to the black guy, so they call it a blackout. I don't I know. You have a good theory there. It's good history. But you know, so, when yeah, you go yeah. to Rayleigh, you have to go to Tonsai. Like, yes. yes. Yeah, Tonsai right yeah, the other side. Amazing. I've sp I spent, I spent, uh, I think six days. I stayed at El Nang and I got the boat there every day because I loved it. So lovely. It was so good. And Pranang Cave. The, yeah, yeah, the, the, the Pranang cave. cave. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Up in there. Yeah, all there. That's good. Wicked. Enjoy it. Ladies, I'll, I'll let you get on while I go, ponder yeah? back on the beach. Enjoy all the best. Day. Cheers, Norway. Oh, Wicked. Lovely Viking ladies. <laughs> ah, um, so here I am. <laughs> back pondering through on the beach. Look, it is absolutely heaven. Oh, man. It is. So we've got a smile bar. Got Bella Vista, 
you've got one or two other bars the one at the end ain't very good <laughs> by the way some are the rest are okay i just like the fact that one at the end was very disappointing the one time i i did eat there because the pond was closed last year it closes oh, so the sea has receded oh, man it is awesome it isn't the mill pool that it usually is but because of the bad weather the last few days that sea isn't too bad at all and it tends to get out the, the tide tends to go out more and more daily and you can see how shallow it is along here but when that tide comes in you have to be aware of all the rip currents that occur so at the moment it's really good for the kids and the families to come on the beach but when that sea pushes up in the winter time you have to be really careful of the rip current that's where the water's going forwards and backwards you get caught in it it screws your brain up and it can drag you out or just keep you pinned down so if you ever get caught in a rip current close your eyes count it for two seconds <laughs> don't panic don't do anything and then just swim sideways that two seconds is what you need for your brain to adjust to its bizarre <laughs> transformation of what it's just gone through oh, man so we do have plenty of people on the beach now will i walk all the way up to the rich seats right up there by cafe del mar now they're up there <laughs> i'll just point to them. <laughs> I will go and do some raping and pillaging with those two but that's what's on my mind you know what it is you, you go through things in life don't you you'll say something something into your brain doesn't quite work out the way you want but it still lingers in the back of your brain it was like ah oh, i've got nothing better to do all day and viking ladies were lovely so i just realized that's what's in the that's what's going on in the back of my mind isn't it i'm elsewhere oh look wouldn't you be elsewhere wouldn't you where would your mind be right now it's awesome it is awesome and i think because we've had overcast yesterday three days of rain prior to that everyone is making the most of being out on the beach today as i am i'm not going to go and strip off sit where my mate is reserving my seat and drink leo practically for the rest of the day it's a tough job but if you ever ever make it to Kamala <laughs> this is what you'll do I'm pretty sure of it <laughs> that's just all I like to do I haven't really got the will to go out vlogging I, I will tell you when I've thought about coming back to Thailand for a month from the UK I was rather excited I thought I could go to all the hotspot places and film how it was but I've been to most of them already and so when I get to these places I haven't got the well the all new and all the exciting and going through all the emotions that I would have if when I get to places I mean that lovely sand castle there look that is wicked that is ready to fill up with water when that tide comes in which it will do early evening so that's been the thing with Phuket I've got here thinking I'm gonna make loads of vlogs and I think I think I've made two because the body or the mind has just gone into holiday mode without me actually realizing so that's where I am ah the pond that's where I am I have arrived back that's pretty good timing good oh it's really good <laughs> the pond it's already kept good day good day <sighs> right one better it's already kept Hello, one leo okay cut form yeah 
Come on, man. Come what? on. I mean, come yeah, on. You're on there. Yeah. You're in the camera. Look, you see yourself. Oh, okay. you're famous. Yeah, come on, come. Come on. Come on, Dylan. Come on. Come on. Right, he is now off to get my Leo. He, he just had to have his cameo appearance on the show. A few more cameos. <laughs> he did. He had to have his cameo on the show. Now I'm doing this in real time. Just got to put my bag there. As it's the favourite part of the show. Coming shortly. It's at the ending time. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> ah. Ah. Happy hour. Yeah, happy hour. How are you, buddy? He's good. He doesn't like being on camera. He doesn't. I think he's probably wanted in another country, that, that sunglasses man. That looky looky man. May, may be on someone's hit. He never ever wants to be on the camera. He's really good at evading it. So come on. Oh, he's slow. I told you, the surface has gone down a little bit. Are you all right? Here we come. Oh, no, that's good. I'll tell you why. He's been a bit slow. And it is it's forgiving. Hang on, where are you going? I'm here. Come on, hang on. Yeah. Because we have a glass, okay. which we slightly yeah. tilt, okay. Come on. and we have our pour. Okay. Right, now you let it give me, give it. The camera go on the piss. That's because I'm straightening the glass up. Come on, get, oh mate, that better not be it. It's a cloud. Fuck oh, off. <laughs> so cheers. Oh. And as good as Raleigh Beach is, I think this place number one. So, what I suggest, if you go to both of the places, then you can decide for yourself. But, for the time being... Oh man, look at someone out there on his wakeboard, look. What a wicked place to come, sit in the sun, and watch someone else have some fun. <laughs> oh wicked right then I've got to start running on so without further ado appreciate you watching until next time au revoir